there are a lot of things happening in the world at this moment. Um, politically, ge geographically, meteorologically, because it's autumn, so it's cold and dry out, and that makes my skin mad, and it makes my lips all chapped, which is no fun. And I know other people have those kinds of like sensitivities that kind of affect their lips to so, like the temperature or the humidity or the reality of the world right now. So I know this really nice easy lip scrub recipe that kind of scrubs away all the nonsense. So I thought I would just share it real quick with everybody. Maybe, maybe help some people out. So uh, without any further ado, I'll just, we'll just go into it. It's super simple. Base is just going to be about two-ish tablespoons of regular old like white sugar. Um, and that's a really nice base because it's abrasive. So physically it's just going to gently remove the, the dead skin and the lies from your face, uh, from your lips especially, so that you can stop speaking them. So that's a really good way to start out with this white sugar. And then here's the only second actual ingredient is just some olive oil. I'm gonna put about another tablespoon of that in there. So it's like a two to one uh, ratio of the olive oil to the sugar. Cause you just, the all, well the olive oil has got a lot of vitamin E in it. And so what that does is it, it like promotes collagen growth, I think, and it's really good for your skin. It's very nourishing. It also uh, reminds you that the election wasn't stolen and that uh, Donald Trump isn't going to be the president um, in a couple months. And that any claims he has of winning the election are, like, not true. And the news, all of the news knows this. Because, um, you know, it's 2020. So we're, we did more mail-in ballots this year. And we want our, our lips to look good when we're, when we go out to the, of course, we're wearing masks. I hope we're still wearing masks because there's still a pandemic. We know that. So the olive oil kind of just helps with that. And really you could just kind of start with this, but because it's seasonal, I'm just going to put in like, I'm going to unscrew this, just like a drop or two of some peppermint uh, essential oil just because it smells nice and it's sort of rejuvenating and it also like well smells good tastes good it's a good way to mix that in so you just mix that in bam it's only three ingredients and then you have your lip scrub so that you can just take a little bit of this and you now start working it into the skin and what this does is it remove the dead skin from your lips, but it also helps you not listen to conspiracy theorists on the internet about how the election was stolen or anything ridiculous like that, because those are all baseless and untrue. And so this is really good for, for the appearance of your lips and also to um, help them stop spreading lies, which is something that I know a lot of us could use right now. So you just put a little bit down there. It's like a nice little layer. It sticks on pretty easily. It's not very heavy at all. It feels really nice. It smells very good. It's kind of like candy cane. And you just do little circles while you think about how the democratic election process did work and about how we did have a free and fair election and how they're saying that it um it's actually been the most secure election in history because of all of the security measures and the mail-in ballots and how there wasn't widespread voter fraud and that the fbi has actually found that there is almost never any widespread voter fraud in any of our elections and so the only thing left to do here with this lip scrub is just wait a couple minutes kind of working it into the skin making sure you get all the dead skin and the dead administrations off 
kind of let the olive oil and the peppermint oil soak in and kind of rejuvenate and heal the nation. I mean, your lips, um, both of them. So that we can, you know, in the next couple minutes, you can just go ahead and lick off the excess. And then there you go. Your lips are rejuvenated and you're ready to start with your new administration on January 20th, even if the, um, even if a little bit of the lip scrub uh, doesn't concede and doesn't come all the way off, but it's, you know, it's not supposed to be there. So you can just, you just get rid of that. And then boom, it's a perfect mid-November, super easy recipe. Everyone can do this at home. I recommend you only do this at home because um, in other places you are obviously going to be wearing your masks. So that is my super easy DIY lip scrub. I hope it helped you all. Uh, I hope you all are staying safe and well informed and helping other people do the same. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think this could be helpful. This, uh, this information could be helpful to them. So yeah, and if you want to, go ahead, subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments. I always like hearing from you guys. I'm very lonely. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time. And until then, I hope you have a great day and a great life. And don't listen to conspiracy theories. <laughs>